Uh, if you want, it depends on how far back you want to go. You can go all the way back to slavery. And in, in our four parents, uh, they weren't allowed to learn. They had to be in the dark and uh, sneak and uh, use codes to keep the master from uh, beating them or punishing them because they want to learn. I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> we had for the public school for the children. That was a cause because, see where I come from, I come from the southern states. And at that time, we had to take use books from, from the white children. And sometimes the books had been wrote in and things like that. So we had to figure out what was what in order to get our education, which was right and which was wrong in some of the, in some of the books. And then when they had the, the uh, integration of the schools, it still wasn't totally integrated because it ended up the, the, uh, the Caucasian, they put their kids in special schools or private schools. And it was still what they call de facto segregation. I was raised up in an era, in a time when education was important. I mean, you you didn't really have a choice because the community had to raise and to educate your child, and um, you couldn't get away with anything. I mean, you you went to school, and everybody was was on you about education and about your manners and your morals. And you went, um, you went home, and on the way home, everywhere you went, you were bombarded with this idea of doing the right thing and getting an education. Um, well, first of all, when you ask me to look back about education, I don't look at education from the standpoint of what I got. Okay, I look at. I'm a person who during the 60s worked to bring about educational programs for a lot of black folks. I helped to establish the Black Studies Department, the School of Ethnic Studies in San Francisco State College, and also helped to establish the Educational Opportunity Program, which opened up a large opportunity for kids all over to get an education. And those programs are still in existence today. So they've been in existence over 30, 35 years. Well, I think I've always uh, placed uh, importance on education. My parents made sure I went to school every day, did my homework, they knew all my teachers. So, <laughs> so education was always something important to my family and to myself. It has always been important. It's just the emphasis that, you know, that uh, um, uh, society has let so many of us drop through the cracks uh, with, you know, broken families and uh, um, discrimination, culture discrimination, economic discrimination, even psychological discrimination has caused us to disregard our sense of self-responsibility and disregard the very importance of maturing and getting the knowledge and the skills we need, you know, to be whole individuals. Um, I think I had always placed importance on education. I think what I would have done differently um, was to make different choices about what I was educated, uh, the type of course, the courses that I took when I was in high school. When I graduated in the mid-70s, I was kind of directed by my counselors to take secretarial courses 
um, and that those were the jobs that would be available to me after high school at the time didn't know that there were other choices and options so if there's anything that I wished I, I think I understood